everyone. Today we are going to test the premium Brita filtering water bottle. This premium filtering water bottle helps reduce the taste and the door of chlorine as well as other contaminants commonly present in tap water. First I want to show you the TDS and pH results of our home tap water. This is the TDS. This is for the pH. First, let's test the TDS level. If you want to buy this TDS tester, check the link down below. Oh, yeah. Turn on the TDS tester, make sure it says zero, and put it in. 290. 291. That is average tap water. Now let's test the pH level. If you want to buy this pH tester, check the link down below. Only do two drops. Let's stir it a little for a better result. I give this is a this is alkaline water. According to the description of Brita filtering water, one filter can replace 300 bottles of water. The filter will last around 60 days and then you should change it every two months. You can use only cold water. You cannot freeze the bottle or the filter. You should not microwave it. All the, all the plastic contaminant comp components components, including closure, can be washed in a dishwasher or by hand. Do not wash the filter, but wash the bottle regularly. Now I'll show you how, the Brita filter, how to use the Brita filtering bottle. Wash the bottle cap and the straw with mild dish soap and rinse it well. We already washed it. Now remove the filter from the package. Take it out. Insert the filter. Now we are supposed to run it with cold water for approximately 15 seconds. Now insert the filter into the straw. Twist it into the lid. So we take it out. We put it in like this. And then we take the cap back. And then we turn it so it'll get in. And then we twist it into the lid. And now fill it with cold water up to the max fill line. So this is the max fill line. You can't fill the water, the cold water more than this. Now let's twist the lid in. Now let's test the TDS and pH levels of the Brita filtered water. Let's open it up. Here's, here's the TDS cup. And now let's pour it in.
as you can see, this bottle is not comfortable to pour the water from the straw. I will use the funnel. I will use this funnel to pass the water through the filter. So I need some water inside first. That's enough. So now we can take off the filter. We already have a filter inside here. So then we flip this over and we put this this fun the funnel inside. Well, this is the TDS cup. Let's pour it like this. Pour it slowly. That's enough. So now let's get the pH cup and do it for the pH cup too. This is a little too much, so I'll pour some back in the TDS. So first let's test the TDS level. If you want to buy this TDS tester, check the link down below. Turn on the TDS tester, make sure it says zero, and put it in. It is 294. That is average tap line. Now let's test the pH level. If you want to buy this pH tester, check the link down below. Only do two drops. Let's stir it all for a better result. I give this an eight. This is a neutral pH. As you saw, these are two pH and TDS levels were about the same. They were 200 to 300, but, but closer to 300. That's still marginally acceptable, and it's average tap water. And after using filtered bottle for one month, we will do another video to show you how the TDS and pH results have changed. You can buy Brita Premium Filtering Bottle from Amazon and other retailers. If you are planning to buy, please use the link in the description. This will give us some commissions from Amazon sales. Thank you.